Okay, people. I already took out all of the eggplant that was here. I planted some here and got two over here, which is four. Uh, what I noticed is why there was like a little sickening. I think it was the ants. They had like under the some of the leaves, they had like little ant eggs or something. And I think that's what messed it up. So I took all the good side, cut them up, and put them to reproduce. And I thought I threw them right out there because it's got to rain. I ain't going out there. <laughs> so uh, this has to be thrown somewhere in the woods. So um, when somebody shows up and wants to do it for me, I let them throw it out. <laughs> Okay, so my next project, you know what this is, tomatoes. Okay, um, hold on for a second, I'm going to show you something. Okay, I took all the gook I had in here, and I put it in here. Now, um, for people like me, they don't care where the, I call it, I'm not into certain um, um, species of tomatoes or peppers, I just get what I get, you know. So, I just took a scoop of this, a couple of scoops really. <laughs> I put it all in here with, I need something else, a stick or something, not with the spoon. And I'm going to spread it all around, put a little bit of dirt, and in a couple of days, you're going to see tomatoes. What I'm going to do with this? Of course, eat it. <laughs> what else I'm going to do with it? <laughs> I'm not going to waste it. This is going to my stomach. This is going to the dirt. And you will have, you know, if a person who wants to grow a whole stack of dirt, uh, not dirt, a whole stack of tomatoes, and cost effective is not, you know, they're not, they don't have too much, you know, they don't have money, money, let's say they're like that, especially in Puerto Rico, hardly anybody has money today, but, um, you don't have money, you buy a tomato, you know, uh, it costs like $2, three little small tomato is $2. You know how much with those two dollars you could invest to the maximum? Okay, you scoop it, you plant it for next time. You don't have to buy the tomatoes outside. Not only that, you eat what you want, what you don't want, you compost it. Or like I do sometimes, I, I throw it under these grounds, you know. I just open it up a big hole in the side, put it in there, and then just let it rot under there. And it works pretty good. You know, sometimes I get surprised when I, you know, start digging. I see all these little wiggly worms and stuff. And it doesn't, it, you know, it doesn't mess up the plant, you know. So, I'm going to eat this in a couple of days, I guess a week or two. You're going to see some tomatoes. And I'm going to clean this plant out. Because I think the ants has gotten to it too. They look a lot of ding, you know, like yellowish. So I think that's a sign that it needs calcium. So I made some calcium for them. I have to look for it because <laughs> I don't remember where I put it. And I'm going to give it calcium, cut it down as to the max. But as you could see, I don't know if you could see like ant, um, spider webs. And I, have, I don't know when that was the last time I came here, two days ago. Um, that means that these spider webs probably are affecting the plant also. So I'm going to clean it all up and you're going to see that when it comes back to life, it's going to have lots of fruits <laughs> or oh, it dies. Da -da -da -da. Anyway, God bless you all and I'll see you later. Bye bye.